All right, the dollar's muscling up uh, even more. Let's see if we can feed into all this ridiculous panic about China going under and then find perhaps a sliver of hope out there about maybe a real American space program before our grandkids pass on. All this and more common sense, dollars and cents. The money master, the Newsmax Financial Intelligence Report editor, Jeff Yastin. All right, Jeff, good to see you. And last time I'm checking here, looks like the Dow did pretty well today. Yeah, you remember yesterday I said about how, you know, with the dollar going up, that was bad for stocks. Well, the dollar went up today and stocks went up as well. So forget everything I said before. The market just going up for the sake of, of going up and the news seems to be reasonably okay for now. So we had the Dow finishing up 121 points today. The uh, S&P finished up 19. The Nasdaq gained 74 points and notched a new record high. Uh, Apple and some of the other uh, favorites there leading the way higher. Jeff, let's just be honest here. The market is schizophrenic and it has been now for about at least the last year. No one knows where it's going on any given day. Let's just be honest, the, the, right? There are more and more warning signs out there. Let me just put it that way. More and more warning signs about sentiment. I think people are getting a little too giddy about things here, but as we know, this can go on for a while before any kind of correction sets Well, up. for instance, Ben Bernanke talking in South Korea, the Fed rate hike's a good sign. Uh, but look, here, here's the big story coming out of this. Look, China is not going to implode. Ben, trust in Ben, I guess, maybe, it, all right? China's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, uh, somehow, it's like Alan Greenspan has made comments that were like, trust me, this is the way it is, and it all turned out to be wrong. So when somebody like Bernanke says this, it makes me a little worried too. But he gave a speech in South Korea, and basically he said, there is no risk of a hard landing in China. So he said, don't worry about that. And he said that when the Fed is raising rates, that's actually a good thing because it means that the economy is growing. So I'll agree with half of that in terms of interest rates going up. That is ultimately a good sign. The Fed then is worried about inflation. But the whole risk of a hard landing or lack of a hard landing in China, I think a lot of people would debate that point with Bernanke. 90 seconds left. Two things we have to get through. Snapchat has a plan for an IPO. How big could this be? Uh, it could be fairly large. Uh, if they did it today, it would be around $15 billion. That's not the size of, say, Alibaba when it went public last year. And I know I'm talking about apples and oranges as far as Internet properties go. But Snapchat is popular. They started doing uh, uh, ad, ads on the site, and that is encouraging a revenue stream or a profit stream potentially from them. Uh, and when they go public, it will be you know, one of those uh, markers that we'll all think about the same way we did for Amazon and eBay years ago, because Snapchat is large, or Facebook, let's put it that way. All right, maybe a marker here that we might actually one day get back into space, SpaceX getting Pentagon certification. Now, this is for military satellite launches, but it's still, it's big news for SpaceX, and it would seem to be big news again for an American space industry one day hopefully growing again. It is because it allows uh, SpaceX to move forward on uh, building this much larger engine that they'll be using to lock humans into uh, orbit, as well as the cargo that they're doing now. As you know, right now we're relying on the Russians to put uh, our astronauts up to the space station. Are we still looking, though, i got about 30 seconds here, but I need to ask you, because as we try to grow here, still looking, though, at it's going to take four or five, maybe ten years before we really get into the, the ability to get back into space on a regular basis? It's taken so long. You know, I, I wonder about that because the thing about SpaceX is they've shown the way they move, that they can move very, very fast compared to what we usually think about for, uh, you know, a typical government-funded organization. So if they can keep up the pace that they've shown thus far in, in 10, 12 years of operation, uh, you know, they may surprise a lot of people both inside and outside the let's, space industry. Let's hope they do. We could use that. Reminder, once again, everybody, go to Newsmax.com. Click on the Finance tab at the very top for all the latest 24-7, 365 from Jeff Yastine and the entire group here at Newsmax. Thanks, Jeff. We'll see you on Thursday. Thanks, Ed. All right. Coming up next, a real and a fake cyber attack and somebody who does it just to make a buck next.